So I've just got here and it's absolutely pouring down with rain, which it seems to always be in Manchester. Actually, Dad said the weather's been okay this week and I've brought it with me, which is really nice. But I'm gonna do some shopping here and then hopefully go to the gym with my dad later on in the day. And then in the evening, I'm off to see my mum for dinner, which should be lovely. Hey everyone and welcome back to another vlog. So I'm starting today's vlog in my car as you can see. I'm actually back up in Cheshire at home and I've driven to the Trafford Centre today. Well not actually the Trafford Centre but near the Trafford Centre to do some home shopping because the home shops in London are like they are good obviously because it's London but if you want to get everything home from the shops you have to obviously get the tube with everything which I just think is a really stupid thing to do. Like does anyone actually get the tube home with like cushions and vases and things like that and tk maxx i went to the other day as you will have seen on my last vlog just was really rubbish and i didn't really get any old terminal candles i really want some orange pillowcases in my bed similar to the ones that i saw that i showed in my last vlog that were from ikea so like a i don't know quite like a bright orange and i ordered some online and i just got the size that's completely wrong and they came and they were like the biggest things ever so i'm gonna have to send those back so i'm gonna have a look for some of those maybe the little sofa that i spoke about in the last vlog as well that i didn't find in ikea maybe look for a sofa as well in Dunelm because i've seen one on their website which looks really cute and it's like a little gray like velvet thing and yeah the cushions look for some candles and anything else in my room <laughs> Uh, Can we try and get them to do the thing where they go on their board? Oh, Luna, good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Why can Nolan never do it? Good <laughs> Right guys, I'm back from shopping and I have to say it was kind of averagely successful. What was really frustrating was the sofa that I want, which I will actually show you. Um, so this is the sofa that I want for my bedroom. I don't know if that's gonna focus. Yeah, you can see it there. Okay, so I really want this sofa. It's basically a gray velvet love seat. And strangely, they had the exact same one, but in a different color, in Dunelm, in HomeSense, in TK Maxx, and in next so i don't know whether the design is like weirdly being sold everywhere and they also have it in this like blush pink color and they had that but i think i'm gonna wing it and order it to arrive on the 8th of november which is when i move in because everything about it looks great and i think the color is going to be good because they had the armchair version of the sofa in that color and i think it's very similar to the bedding that i've got on my bed at the moment but what i did buy were three candles um, I actually bought a really cute pumpkin candle. Again, I didn't find loads of pumpkin ones. And the one that I showed in my video, the really big white one, I really wanted to buy. I didn't love the scent. Like, it wasn't, like, the nicest pumpkin-y scent I've ever smelled. It tasted a bit like linen pumpkins, which wasn't good. But this one, I think it's such a cute colour. It's like a grey, but like a bluey green grey colour. £2.99. Very sickly pumpkin-y, but because it's only small, I think it's just going to be a good scent to have in my room. Absolutely love it. And then I got these two, which I... Oh, it's my cat. Daisy, come here. Here she is. You going to say hi to the vlog? She doesn't like people. No, she does. She's actually a really, really friendly cat. Um, But she gets in a mood because she doesn't like my dogs. So this... Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> you like a lion. And um, this one is the sand and fog, sorry. This one, if it'll focus, is the sand and fog one, um, which, oh, it's so, so nice. It's called Holiday Berry. It's one of the nicest Christmassy scents ever. And the reason I bought this is because I don't know what the TK Maxx and home scents are like in London. So I thought I'll have this ready for Christmas. I'm just not gonna burn it. And then this one has a little cute lid as well. Daisy has a really cute lid as well and oh it's so nice 
it's I don't I don't even know how to describe this one but it's also £2.99 it's just like a Christmassy one and oh I've got such a cute idea for like Christmas furniture -y candle set up for my room and then the other things that I bought were I bought two packs of matches oh my god oh my god guys you're not allowed up here <laughs> Go down, go down. Oh, okay, the dogs aren't actually allowed. I don't know how they got upstairs. They're not allowed upstairs. Um, but I got these hooks from b and I've never been to b and before. So good, so cheap. They don't have one near where I live in London. But I'm going to have a fairy light wall to go behind my sofa, I think. Um, and these hooks are what we have in our lounge at the moment. And then I got two packs of matches because... I'm guessing they're a little bit more like sustainable than lighting, than using like a, you know, like a normal like cigarette lighter kind of thing um, to have with my candles. And they were like 49p each. So it was kind of successful in terms of ideas. Didn't find any cushions that I liked. That's the only other thing. So I'm gonna have a good look online this evening. A few moments later. Right, so I'm off to the gym with my dad and I've got this little Saski collection top on, which when I wear it on my Instagram page, I always, always get asked where this is from. But it's Tammy Humbro's brand, Saski collection. And I actually wish that I'd got it in black as well. Don't know if it's going to be sold out now. And then I've got this um, Forever 21 lilac sports bra on, which is really, really cute. And then my tall leggings, which are absolutely lovely. I included those in my favorite leggings YouTube video, but these are just some of my absolute favorites. I'm just driving to the gym with dad. Say hi to the camera, dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> <laughs> you have been on it secretly in like little bits. Oh, good. <laughs> um, but we are gonna do a gym session together today and we're gonna do, start off with some cardio because that's what dad usually does. And then we are gonna do a shoulder session together because I'm quite enjoying training with someone else at the moment. And um, dad's also focusing on sort of, Ooh, what was that? sort of splitting body parts and gaining strength and things because he had a major back operation. Was it last year now? Yeah, 12 months ago. 12 months ago. Um, so he's sort of re regaining strength but can't do a lot of free weight stuff. So it'll be good to sort of do some things together anyway. So we're gonna go to the Total Fitness, which is the gym dad and my sister go to, which I actually way prefer to if you're a gym anyway. And you don't ever see anyone you know, which I quite like. <laughs> machine shoulder press and machine chest press at the start which is not what sorry that's the dog cage rattling in the back and um, it's not usually what I do but because dad has had what what was your back operation uh, two prolapsed discs had to be replaced or repaired yes yeah, so basically quite a serious um operation he would struggle with using a heavier weight which obviously you want to push yourself on those compound movements and um, doing free weights especially with sort of getting the weight up to that position so it's just more comfortable for him and just assuring he doesn't get injured so we did those two exercises on the machine a load of like accessory movements that really burnt out the shoulders it was shoulder focus which seems to be how i sort of structure my push workouts at the moment and um, i do actually need to start adding in a little bit more chest 
yeah, a little bit more chest work to my workouts, but I seem to be really enjoying it. And then we did two exercises, which ones that Lewis, my physio, has set me, um, and they're just making sure that my lower back isn't activated. So by doing core exercises where you are raising your knees, sorry, it's not very easy to explain it in the car, um, you are just making sure that you aren't activating the wrong muscle. I do find that it's quite easy to do core exercises that work my lower back as well, which isn't obviously what you want from the workout so yeah we're both feeling quite tired dad's gonna go back and get a big protein shake or something aren't you and a beer and a <laughs> protein shake and a beer because it's friday and i'm gonna go to my mum's for dinner and hopefully have something high protein as well <laughs> otherwise i'm gonna be sore tomorrow Good morning everyone, it is Saturday and had a really nice dinner at my mum's last night. I obviously didn't vlog just because I hadn't seen her in a little while and I had my sister there, my stepdad and my stepsister as well and yeah, it was just generally really, really nice. But woke up today and the weather is still absolutely rubbish and the plan had been that me and Hayley were gonna go to a pumpkin patch, um, which I tried to do in my last vlog, as you'll remember, but we can't do that today because the weather is really, really awful. And it's honestly soaking, soaking wet. Oh, look how nice the countryside is. But we just watched England beat New Zealand in the finals of the World Cup, which I watched with my dad, which was so fun and very, very exciting. And now Hayley is just making me dinner. Now Hayley is just making me breakfast. I am editing my YouTube video, which is going up tomorrow, which is Sunday, because I'm guessing this one is going to go up on a Wednesday. And then we're going to plan what we're doing for the rest of the day. We might go and play squash. Might see some friends, we'll see. But tonight we're gonna have a really chilled night in and put on the Celebrity X Factor and have popcorn and things like that. Oh, we're off to play squash. I need to concentrate on the road. I feel like I'm vlogging a lot from my car at the moment, but it's because it's fixed, so I'm obviously driving it. Um, but what are we gonna do, Hayley, on the squash court? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> but I am actually gonna film a bit this time because I remember my tripod. Yeah, but maybe we do some games and some like drills. Routines. What do you reckon? Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Fun house tagged it. King of the palace. Rubber like Malcolm. Ball up fist in the air to the fast lit. Yeah. Hands up, hands up in the air to they gun me down. That's it. Blackberry and pear. Oh my god, why? Oh my god. Hayley doesn't like cinnamon. So and that's I can't a bit eat of an gluten. Issue. So we're. So gluten free, cinnamon free. Autumnal baking, Doesn't which probably have have isn't going to happen. Pecan pumpkin pie. So we're home now, and Hayley and I have decided to make. Trying to get the recipe out. Yeah, a veggie and ramen. A vegetable ramen for dinner, which sounds delicious. We're actually going to put prawns in it. So I'm trying to keep my protein up. Is that focusing? Yeah. So we're gonna follow that recipe sort of vaguely and then I'll show you after we've made it, but we've chosen such a delicious thing to bake. No cinnamon. Wait, does that have cinnamon in the recipe? Um, yeah, but we're not putting it in. She's such a little cinnamon Grinch, Halloween Grinch. It's just, it's just not nice. It's not Grinch. Um, but we're gonna replace the pak choy for, uh, we're gonna replace Hayley with a cabbage. Oh yeah, they didn't have any pak choy, unfortunately, in Sainsbury's local. But we've just started Cutting what well, Haley sauce is garlic cut. and ginger. The garlic and the ginger. We are gonna put peppers, mushrooms, cabbage, and then we bought a load of ingredients. Young hit a gather fetish for success of fine. Next and I just leave impression. Next to rain on the window pane, put the plain Jane. Let him second guess me when I cop the porch with the poison skin. Whip the wheels at the horse and spits. Why they trash at the charm? And some sweet red pepper, and I think I'm gonna add some fish sauce, and I think that all goes in. And then, yeah, because the mushroom's been cooking now, but like five minutes in here so we add it all together and then i think that's it Except the for the hits hey been greedy don't pity they full thing with me been real i'm trended i'm hype i'm lady been like blossom hill yeah that lovely one uh, like i play tennis i drip this now i live it don't pity i live till at the top through the city now i run this i would jot it with the pencil while they flop with the fish and jaw drop when i spit it off top lip you need seven figures catch the fade when it jippy <laughs> battle can i down to the penny wave heavy is all on my mind i've gotta make that hit it Fun house active. Yeah. King of the palace. Rubber like Malcolm. Ball up fist in the air to the flash lit. Yeah. Hands up, hands up in the air that they got me down. I keep it on it, they crunching the numbers, I'm getting wild. Fun house active. Yeah. King of the palace. Rubber like Malcolm. Ball up fist in the air to the flash lit. Yeah. Hands up, hands up in the air that they got me down. I keep it on it, they 
crunching the numbers, I'm going to hide it. Good morning everyone, so I'm with Hayley again today and we are finally going to a pumpkin patch. Now it's stopped raining. Yeah, now it's stopped raining. Apparently the field is like nearly flooded, the one that we're going to, but you know, it's a start and it's going to be better than that really rubbish one last week. So we shall see what we can find. So this is the field. Look at the oval one. <laughs> Wait, look at that one. I like that one. No, not that one. We need to move this. Yeah. Really big orange tomato. It's very windy, but look at this for a pumpkin patch. And these are the kind of our final selections we've got a few melon like ones don't know if that's focused actually yeah we've got a few melon like ones this is a good one though i think hales yeah i like verdict one. which one are you gonna pick um you I get to pick one even though i'll take it back and carve it wait that that's quite round small and round oh I do like the ones with this stalk at the top um yeah maybe this one yeah wait does that have a stalk no, but I mean, it's not the worst. Yeah, this one, even though it's a bit long and weird, <laughs> we'll go for that one. Um, but there are tons. I mean, we're probably like the oldest people that are like, kids by about years. at least 20 years. But I think we're doing very well. So we thought this one was a cute shape. It's got a bit of green at the back, but cute shape. Love it. Am oh, I just accepting my t-shirt's gonna get muddy? Yeah. Right, so we're home and this is the first pumpkin I'm gonna be carving. They look good now, they're washed, yeah, don't they? Yeah, they look a lot better. Um, I, I actually quite like the like bit of green on this one. It's kind of orange with a bit of green. Um, so I've kind of drawn out a face. It's a bit of like a squiggly one, if you can see. And I don't know what I'm going to do on that one yet. Well, hopefully Hayley's going to help. But she's not the most creative. No. Um, I'm so excited. Right, let's get cracking. another little chatty vlog with Haley in. We're gonna collab on another video soon, yes, we? but like a proper sit down, whatever you guys wanna see, so leave a comment to let us know. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, yeah. comment, oh yeah, do everything, and we'll see you in the next one.